I would have gotten the delivery <laughs> notification on that. You get the little receipt back, like yes, it was received. You gotta get that. But I, I was, I was, uh, I was touched by it, um, and I, that's what I like about Laura Bush. You know, just calm, rational approach to these issues and you know I, I'm taking some some cues I mean there's a balance there's a reason why people like her uh, yeah. is because she doesn't um, but, sort of you know yeah. fuel the fire she yeah. doesn't no but no. let me ask you something it's because of what we were just talking about mm -hmm. in the quote and how it's getting re reinterpreted etc mm -hmm. do you feel a little bit um, inhibited now to speak mm -hmm. do you feel you know you got to watch what you say now you know, I think in, in, in this media age, I have to be cognizant, just mm -hmm. like I think all of us Not do. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we do. She, I, we don't, I, I she think does. Barack <laughs> might be like a... <laughs> <laughs> did, did Barack he watch it right now? Did he give you any advice, Michelle? Because he was on the show. He said, and be good. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. I'm curious now. This is, this is a lot of questions that we have never actually had to, to talk about before are coming up. And do you think that it is time uh, for the country, really, to take a lesson from big business mm -hmm. and get a little diversity training? Because there are some quotes that you've been, that mm -hmm. they've put on you that have, you know, that are meant to stir it up when mm -hmm. you say, you know, it's, uh, it, I was uncomfortable around all this. People don't realize mm -hmm. that, you know, folks your age and my age, we were the first of our generation to be thrust mm -hmm. in to talk with white folks like other, like real people do. Mm -hmm. So it could have been very isolating. We is it time? Diversity. We were it. <laughs> like so, I am it. <laughs> so is it time for us to sort of pay you know, closer attention? My belief about diversity training and discussions is that they have to happen like this. I Naturally. mean, the, the, be the beauty of this show is that it is diverse mm -hmm. to start with. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would always say is you can't have a diversity s discussion with me being the only diversity. Um, diversity yeah. comes in perspectives, and then you have conversations, and you know one another outside of the discussion. So you can have a heated argument. You di can disagree. You can have a hurt feeling. Mm -hmm. But you, you. you know, you know what? This girl is, uh, you know, she's solid. Yeah. She's got great kids. She's a great mom. Right. She's funny. Uh, so I can disagree with her yes. on a whole range of points. Mm -hmm. um, right. But we can come back together tomorrow. But everybody thinks and you're again. fighting all the time when you because disagree. You're because because you're women. Disagree. Which, which, and I, I think that's do we the main factor. factor. I want to ask about Hillary Clinton and sexism, mm -hmm. if you felt... Apropos of this conversation, was there? Do you feel there was any sexism in the media? I, there is, yes. There's always mm -hmm. a level of um, people aren't used to strong women, no. um, and I, I don't think that there are times we don't even know how to talk about them. Mm. Uh, and so, yes, there was obviously that. There was also, um, as you know, there were elements of racism um, mm -hmm. that will will go on, and I think that. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton has, as she said, she's uh, created 18 million cracks on a, on a ceiling, and mm -hmm. we need to keep Absolutely. pushing it and pushing it, um, because it's only until women like her step out, mm -hmm. take the risk, take, take those hits, and mm -hmm. it's painful, mm -hmm. and it's hurtful, mm -hmm. but she's taken them so that my girls, uh, when it, they come along, mm -hmm. so uh, they won't have to feel it as, 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 as badly. So, yes. I don't think I'm going to get an answer to this question, but we'll try. So, do you think that Hillary Clinton should be your husband's running mate? You know, uh. <laughs> You know, my, audience. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, you know, my answer to this, and people have asked me this before, uh, I think the one thing that uh, a, a, a nominee earns is the right to pick the vice president that they think will um, best uh, reflect their vision of the country. And I'm just glad I will have nothing to do with it. Right. <laughs> you have no say-so whatsoever, no. Hannah. You can't. I don't want it. <laughs> you know when you get home at night, when you guys are together, do you take do you t completely break from the politics, or yeah. you come? I don't know how you do, how you even you escape from it. You know how we it. do it, yeah. Malia and Sasha the Obama, kids, yeah, the kids. because they walk in the door and it's like I don't even care what your day was. Let me yeah. tell you about soccer and this is what happened and that. Right. I mean, they they break us right. from that cycle and it's a good thing. So when we come back, yes. we'll talk more about the kids. We'll talk about us. We'll talk about Charles. We just talk well. about all. Oh my God. Oh.